We're looking at the skulls of some of the more prominent animals in the swamp. And we have, there are many of them. There are more than 50 mammals, 50 different mammals, 18 of which are rodents. Rodents. Rodents are the most prolific, most successful, and the most widespread, and probably the most numerous animal in North America are rodents. That includes rats. And we have a muskrat that lives in our swamp. We have a skull here somewhere. Uh, we have uh, a, certainly the beaver. The beaver is a classic example of a rodent. What makes him a classic? The color of his incisors, the color of these teeth right here. In our mouth, in your mouth, there are four kinds of teeth. Incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. The, his his, dent, his dent, uh, canine, I mean his, his incisors are the large, prominent, brightly colored, and, and very, very sharp. Why are they so sharp? Because the backside, the inside of the tooth, the inside of the tooth wears down much faster than the outside of the tooth. The outside is enamel. It's very, very hard, very hard and brightly colored. Uh, all rodents have the yellow incisors like this. They may be tan, they may be a light yellow, they may be a dark yellow like this, but they are yellow uh, in some sense. The, the outside is very hard, so it doesn't wear nearly as fast as the inside does. Consequently, it's always very sharp because it's, it's shaped kind of like that, kind of like that. It was very sharp on one edge. But they can go to an oak or a pine or a hickory or a maple or an ash. It doesn't matter what kind of tree. They can cut it down. <coughs> now, I have even seen trees where they have cut, they've cut into it and made balls, one, one ball on top of another ball on another on another. Uh, why do they do that? I don't know. But it's, it's like a stack of marbles standing edge on edge. Uh, beavers have a house in the water and the entrance is always underwater. They go under the water to go into their house and up into their bedroom, pantry, latrine, uh, or, or their sleeping quarters. And they have many little, many rooms in that cavity that, that they create. No, the pantry. The pantry is not in the house. The pantry is outside, down in the water. They build their, their nest in water, or sometimes they dig caves and, and live in a small cave on the side of a pond. Uh, um, they, 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 of course, do build a dam to create a pond that becomes habitat for all other kinds of wetland critters. But eventually what happens is the flooded trees will eventually die. After about four years, you'll begin to see the trees in, the, in that flooded pond that the beaver created they begin to lose their leaves, and they begin to die, and they fall. Um, and he, he actually destroys his own habitat. Uh, this is an, one of the few mammals that does not live here anymore. Uh, this is the skull of a wolf, a red wolf. We used to have wolves here. The red wolf was very common at one time. His proper name is Canis Rufus. Rufus, of course, is red. Uh, the last red wolf to kill in Georgia was in 1921. There are no more wolves in Georgia. 
But look who has taken his place. The coyote. We now have, we're up to our ears in coyotes now. Lots of coyotes have, have moved into Georgia. Coyotes <coughs> typically eat rodents, whatever they can catch. On the runway, on the runway of the Waycross Airport, excuse me, <laughs> they, on the Waycross Airport, they caught 18 coyotes in traps. Why would they catch so many coyotes around the runway? Well, what borders every runway? Grasses. What eats grasses? Rats and rabbits. <laughs> Perfect, ideal habitat for the coyote. Wide visibility. He can see them from, you know, 100 yards away. So that's why they caught so many coyotes out there. The black bear. The American black bear. There are probably as many as 800 of these that live in our swamp. Black bears are omnivores, strict omnivore. They can eat almost anything, and they eat a minimum of eight pounds of food every day. That is their, that's their basic diet, is eight pounds of food a day. And it consists of almost anything. The, from the bark of a tree to, the, to a carrion. If they find a dead animal somewhere, they'll just as, as soon eat him as anything else. They eat nuts and berries and seeds and flowers and grasses. One of the most damaging and one of the worst animals we have in terms of wildlife is the wild hog because wild hogs will eat absolutely anything on the ground. They have very large tusks. These tusks are both offense and defense. They can, they can cut roots and, and dig up mushrooms and things, and they can, they, can, they can also use those tusks as weapons. They will cut a, a, a dog's belly wide open with these, these tusks. And they do so by swinging their head back and forth like this. And, and that very quickly cuts open the body cavity of any animal that's attacking them. Uh, notice the kind of teeth they have. Their teeth are modified in the, in the front. These, these canines are modified to, to make tusks. In an elephant, the elephant's tusk are made of the incisors, these teeth up in the front. But canines form the tusk of a wild hog. They dig with them, and with that old, that tough snout, they dig. And they're very commonly along the roadsides, here to the Swamp Park, we can see wild hog dip, uh, diggings. Uh, if wild, for, for birds that nest on the ground, like turkeys or doves or partridges or, or any animal that nests on the ground, the wild hog will kill and eat all the young or eat the eggs or even the adult animals that, that they can catch. Uh, some, some states have adopted a, a poison program. They've developed these feeders that will only open the feed trough when they hear a certain frequency, the frequency of a wild hog grunting. <coughs> Whatever that frequency is, the, the, the microphones will accept that and open the feed trough. And the feed trough contains poison. And the purpose of that is to not kill other animals that could possibly eat the same food. So only the wild hog makes those sounds that are that frequency and the doors open, they eat. And that's one way that they're, they're combating wild hogs. They have spread across this whole country now. They're all the way to California, 
all the way to California. They destroy crops, they destroy young, they, they, uh, any animals on the ground are, are subject to be destroyed by wild hogs. The state of Georgia has hunting rules, except for wild hogs. <laughs> you can kill all you want, either sex, any day of the year. <laughs> They're wide open, just take all you want. Um, if you do take, take them for meat, you should pin them up for at least two weeks and feed them good grain food, not the, what they've been eating out there somewhere. And they're uh, notorious for parasites anyhow. So uh, not a good idea to eat them. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>